I was gone. Donezo. Done. Um, anyway, you know, I've got nothing else to say, but that's when my therapist says I have the most to say. So anyway, I do this thing with my therapist where I can feel when he's wrapping up, so I try to wrap up first. And I'll say something like, so I know we've got to wrap up. And he goes, no, no, we've got time. And then I go, okay. So then I let my guard down again and I start talking. And then he'll say, John, John, I just got to let you know, I do have to wrap this up in a minute. And I said, well, I knew that. It's almost as if you didn't, like I have to get fired every time. I can't resign. I can't. Why do I have to always get fired from therapy? I can't resign from therapy. I can't say, well, I can tell from two things, both the tone in your voice and the time on the clock, that it's probably time to wrap things up. And then you say to me, we have time. And then I, the moment I forgot that I ever brought it up with you, you say, John, I have to tell you, we have got to go in a couple of minutes. And I say, well, I knew that. It's really just a trap. It's really just a trap. Um, anyway. The clock is irrelevant. Is this going to be the uh, what, what is time thing? Are you going to take me down the what is time corridor? Um, in which case I will remind you that there's a certain amount of cooperation we all have to have to have conversation these days. And if you're going to question time, then we, we're not working with the same building blocks of discussion, and I'll, I'll have to I'll have to move on. <laughs> I need to go. I need a diet coke. Oh man, <sighs> that's people always say that's where the magic happens. But I really do magic. Um, I, I do a lot of magic in bed. My body doesn't question time. Uh, Dalia, you just said that it's really funny about people who say, I can't, I can't have my coffee before, I can't have any coffee past 10 or else I stay up all night. And you say, you know what? I just go, <laughs> just go straight through the next day and drink more coffee, but coffee can't give you energy you don't have. And I'm down to like one Diet Coke a day. So, so ease up, ease up. Hey, let me ask you a question. And I'm sorry if I sound a little insincere, but I, I have moments of being completely sincere that like, I just don't remember what it's like to be on tour and I'm not on tour. I'm just playing this weekend, which I look forward to, but I'm in a hotel room and I'm like out of place. How much trouble would you be in if you videotaped yourself going to the grocery store, videotaped, filmed yourself going to the grocery store, there's no film in there anyway, and you buy a box of plastic straws and you open them up and you dump them into a garbage can and then you drop the now empty box into a garbage can. I feel like you would get in so much trouble. Like, I feel like if you would get, like people writing, oh God, like people, like already you having to think about it makes you lose your mind. You might be disinvited from a dinner party. You might be, you might be called into your boss's office. If you, for doing that, one box of plastic straws, and you just look in right in the camera, and you don't flinch, and they all go, frrr, and there's always like, then you got to go this, and like the last two go, frrr, frrr, and then you just release the grip into the garbage, and that's it. That's all you do. You don't say anything else. Think about how much damage that would do to your personal and professional life. I stop there because I trust you to come with your own kind of conclusions and commentaries based on that. But I think it speaks to, no, I'm not gonna tell you what I think it speaks to. That's up to you. Did I do that? You're damn right I didn't do that. I have no way. I like my life. I'm not gonna buy a box of straws and dump it into a garbage can right now. I have a good thing going on. I don't want to lose it all. Well, love you too. I would never do that. And think about it. Thank you, Pizza Farty. And think about why you wouldn't do it. And think about what that says about the way that attitudes change. 
a socially like an attitude, a social attitude can be formed in a way that can create a real punitive spanking, a real spanking machine, like a real one. Um, it's crazy. No, like, please, what if I started responding to comments that weren't coming up? No, don't do straw dump challenge. Don't do that. Don't do the straw dump challenge. Actually, nobody's really freaking out. I mean, like, it's a great thing. When I see straw shaming, I'll think it went too far. But anyway, I was just thinking about it. Thinking about attitudes, uh, how interesting it is that they change and they forgot what they were before and they don't think about what they'll be afterwards. But whatever the prevailing attitude is today is really the, be, the, the end all be all of everything. Whatever the attitude is today. Um, personally, I think we should be using uh, tortoise shell straws. Today's watch is the beautiful Audemars Piguet GMT Ceramic Concept Tourbillon. Um, hello, Indonesia. How are you doing? Hey, you want to see an optical illusion? This looks like it's carbon fiber, but it's not carbon fiber. It's just the rubber grip stuff you get for drawers underneath some glass. And then I looked up what carbon fiber was on Wikipedia. It's exactly what it is. Tell me when this, tell me when my body language gets weird. Is it now? Is it now? <laughs> it was a long time ago. That was a long time ago. Um, well, there's a delay on the now, so I don't know exactly where it was, so I gotta do it again. So do it just a few, just a few moments before you actually think it's weird so it times out, so that I'll know when it gets weird. Now, it's that, that, I thought so too. I thought so too. Um, when's the last time, when's the last time anybody ever read a book to you like this? I haven't done this ever. And I haven't seen someone do this in 30 years. Delving into history. Well, that's a building on fire, kids. I think we'll put this down for a minute. Maybe check in with this in another 20 years. And maybe things will be a little different. Who wants to hear about a puppy? That was very Miss Lippy. Who, it's time to play, who wants to play dodgeball? California typewriter, what is up? If you care about writing and you want a typewriter, Check out California Typewriter. Check out California Typewriter. Uh, California Typewriter, I've recently been enjoying my uh, Olympia SM4, I think it is. But it's the Elite, the Gothic Elite typeface, which is my absolute favorite for two reasons. Number one, it's all caps. Number two, it's small enough point that you can really fill a lot of like nonsense lyrics with one page. How do people do this? <sighs> Ever see someone do an interview or something? <sighs> 
And you're like, oh, th this is this interview was just right after lunch. People don't do that as much after dinner as after lunch. Ooh, sorry, just had lunch. Why does lunch make people do that more than dinner? You know what I mean? No one's ever like, sorry, it's breakfast. It's a lunch move. It's a lunch move. Sorry, it's lunch. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I love you too, Irma Asent. Irma Snut. Irma Nst. Well, I realized it's a Mulaney joke as soon as I started it, and I have a hope that my acknowledging that it's sort of a yeah, it's a it's a yeah. I thought of it when I said it, so therefore, I get that because I did it, and then I realized it. So, the real question is, would I have done that if it weren't for the Mulaney joke on uh, comedians and cars getting coffee? And I don't know, and if I don't know, then I have to give it up to John Mulaney. So I, I apologize. Can we go back and check? Can Honey, can you just go back and will you strike that from the Instagram live uh, record, please? Yeah, and, and just give credit to John Mulaney, at John Mulaney, probably. But will you look into that? Okay, thank you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to make you do that. I, just, I know. I it re, I didn't know until until they told me. Okay. Um, just being fair. Just giving credit where it's due. Watch this. Watch this. 
pause. What's happening? You really want to die on the hill about Diet Coke having aspartame in it. I think it's a thing to say, and I understand that. But also, it's not that big a deal. But it has been logged, but that's what you think, and I completely understand. But that's why I said before I drank it, I'm down to one a day. Just don't, don't hit, don't hit me with the... I try not to get comparative. I, I try not to be like, well, how can you be all this way about Diet Coke when this is over here and you don't care? But this is, let's, I, it's something we, it's something that we've learned and perhaps the fact it's fresh information makes it feel more important. But in the overall scheme of things, it's more of just like a key to turn conversationally. And I get it. I'm actually not shitting on it. I get it. Uh, zero Coke rules. Someone made a re really interesting observation the other day that no one has ever finished an entire can of cherry Coke. And I thought that was hilarious. <laughs> but that's exactly the kind of comedy I like. Because it might be true. No one's ever fully finished a can of cherry Coke. We all love cherry Coke. But I've never picked up an empty can of cherry Coke. Put it that way. When are you coming back to Japan, sir? It feels like next year. It feels like next year. Um, John, do you think divorced guys are fun to be around? I don't think that they are divorced gives them enough, or me enough information to tell you that. That's not a variable worth paying attention to. Unless they got divorced for a raging cocaine habit. And then I got to imagine they're fun. But I've never done cocaine, so I don't really know. I don't really know. Uh, and before you're like, no way, you must have. I didn't, dude, or do that. Sorry. I will be coming to a lot of places. I'm taking the rest of the year to like do things like go to the dentist, um, work on another album, and uh, then next year we'll work some more. Who are you talking about? Did, am I walking into some tabloid conversation that I don't know about as people are cross-talking about divorce? Did I eat Johnny Knoxville? I don't get it. Are you getting like roasty now? Are you getting roasty? Here's the problem with the iPhone, silicone iPhone case, if anybody has one. Um, they slip, they slide. What's the number one trick you figured out to sleep on a tour bus through the years? I, I don't, I can't sleep on a tour bus. So this is something very interesting. Brett, thank you for bringing it up. 20 years ago, you could sleep on a tour bus. You cannot sleep on a tour bus anymore because roads are so bad in terms of the infrastructure of them being maintained that you'll just wake up in the middle of the night. Imagine turbulence, but for a car or, you know, a, a bus. The turbulence is so bad on a bus that you will wake up in the dead of night believing that you're careening off the side of a hill. And so for that reason, I'm out. When it comes to, uh, when it comes to buses, I can't do buses. I, I, I'm telling you, it's not, um, it's not a little thing, it's not a little, what do they call it, a peccadillo, it's not that. It is that I wake up 11 to 13 times a night scared out of like scared for my life that the bus is falling off of a hill so I can't do it can't do it so I fly to the next place and sleep there and I even like the idea of having a bus I I certainly cost 
effective compared to flying, but can't do it. These days have no a peccadilly. I don't think it's a peccadilly. Is it a peccadilly? Okay, I believe you. Um, these days have no flavor. Not quite summer. Not quite fall. What is it? It's just a weird couple of weeks where just bad news happens. If you think about it, every year in the summer, about a month, a month and a half after 4th of July is over, it's just a couple of weeks where bad things happen. Before you buy your Trapper Keeper, you buy your Mead 5-star notebook, you get yourself a Jan Sport backpack, and you begin again. See, I've got a case to be made that September 1st is really like January 1st. It is the true beginning of a new year, not January 1st. But these month, these these days, these days have no flavor. These are the kind of days where serial killers on the loose for a couple of weeks, maybe a mysterious sniper. In this case, it happens to be political. There's just the end of August, the two weeks at the end of August, just shit falls apart. And I don't know why. If it's not acts of God or acts of Zod, if you're a fan of the Superman franchise. And to be honest, if you're not, uh, I'd like to see you leave. Um, plans for Labor Day, I really don't know. The you I miss does not exist. That was actually really fun to put that up and, and realize that you like that part. So it, it gave me some encouragement. Favorite small talk to make. What's my favorite small talk to make? I don't know. Zorp. That's a nice one. Do you think Ben Affleck is a good Batman? Uh, I think he's a fine Batman. I don't know that he's had the, uh, the real real estate to kind of get into the character. Remember, he's not been in a standalone Batman yet. So he's been an ensemble Batman. And I don't know that any of the Batman who have come before could have shown you their full range if they were only in ensemble Batman. But again, I go back to a point that I made about a year ago, that Ben Affleck has proven how good a Batman he can be through the movie The Accountant, starring conveniently Ben Affleck, where I believe he's a more compelling Bruce Wayne in The Accountant than in uh, DC's portrayal so far. That's what I'm saying. I would love to do a collab with Daniel Caesar. Love to. But listen, these are great new artists. They don't need me. This is a vain thought that I should do collabs with people. And I think it's lovingly vain on, like, I don't know if you would, if, if, if you can be secondarily vain for someone else. I think it's just loving at that point. But Daniel Caesar has a, a wonderful career and, and I would love to be associated with it because I love the shine. I'm not going to lie, but I didn't need, I didn't need me jumping in. My husband says BM is not a real superhero. Thought I don't know who BM is. Who, what's BM? Who's BM as a superhero? Collab with Lana Del Rey. Another artist doesn't need me. Doesn't need me getting in the mix. I'll be screwing everything up. Why stop at collabing with other musical artists? Why don't you just ask me to direct a movie? I don't know how to do that either. Perhaps, uh, you know, why don't I just redesign um, in an, an entire highway? Just to, just to watch that happen too because I, I'm, I'm equipped to do about... Oh, BM is Batman. Well, I don't want to... I don't want to get nitpicky here, but BM does not equal Batman, okay? BM equals bowel movement. Batman is just a B. Um, unless you want to do B slash B dash M, which is the 1960s kind of Batman. And, and then I would have understood it. Direct a movie with Sean Mendes. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. That's funny. Asking me to do things outside my wheelhouse with artists you also enjoy. That's friggin' funny. That's really, really funny. Put together a ragtag team of softball uh, stars with Alessia uh, uh, Cara. 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 
Direct a movie about making a highway with Shawn Mendes. Now that I would do. That I would do. I have a question about the Shawn Mendes cologne. And I wonder if Shawn is on. He's probably not on. He's a busy man. But I wonder if the Shawn Mendes cologne is supposed to be worn by men who want to smell like Shawn Mendes or women who want to smell Shawn Mendes. And after hearing myself ask that question, I wonder if that the scent of a Shawn Mendes cologne is not squarely in the middle of those two things. I guess I'm just curious about the top note. I want to know what the top note is of the fragrance. Also, do you know what the difference between... Do you know what the difference between perfume and cologne is? I do, because I looked it up the other night at the club. Because I don't drink. So I just sit there and sip on my sparkling water and Google weird stuff. Do you know what the difference between perfume and cologne is? Tell me. I wait to see your response. Come smoke with me, though sweet is not the response I'm looking for. Oh, well now it's time. By, by now you've, you've looked it up. Um, it really has to do with the content of the, the fragrance. So, I believe has a certain amount of alcohol or something, and then the oil content. Yeah, 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 that's what it is. And then perfume has more oil. Yeah, yeah. Field. I, I love Bakersfield, California. In fact, I love that whole part of California. Bakersfield. I love Riverside. Shout out to Pomona, California. These are places where if I could clone myself six times over, I'd be in Bakersfield, Riverside. Activating to me that I just, I, I love Fresno. Visalia. Now we're getting into the more northern California. But I really like the ones that are sort of on the way. On um, like the plate like the baker's feel sound. Well, this is like where where flatheads are. Kila. You wanna know a great one? West Covina. These are great names. These are beautiful places in California. And I love California. These, I swear I'm not lying. There is something Oceanside, basically uh, San Diego. I meant to go to Palm Springs one time and I ended up in Oceanside because the GPS said head Places like uh, Indio's good. Um, Agua Caliente is a lovely one. Give me some more. What was there? Was some other ones I really liked. There was another one starts with B, and it's not. What's the one that starts with B, and it's out by the outlet center. I can't remember what it's called. There's an outlet center between Palm Springs and Camarillo. Beautiful, love it. What up? I just love California. Victorville, bitch. I don't believe there's a place called, but it's not, oh, it's not Banning, although Rancho Cucamonga, how can you not? It's not Blythe. It's not Barstow. It's, no, it's not Barstow, but it's, it's a, well, you look it up for me because I, 
And it's one of my favorite names. And I want to, and there is an outlet, there's a James Purse outlet store there. There's a little tiny outlet strip there. And yeah, by the outlet malls. Uh, not Bakersfield. It's not, it's too, I feel like it's too, it's two syllables. It's not Puerto Rico, but Beaumont. Beaumont, California. That's what it is. Beaumont, California. Thank you very much. There's just something about like, like I'll walk, I'll walk around the outlet mall out by Palm Springs and it's such a slice of sort of this California vibe that you can only get at a desert outlet mall. And I always think to myself, I want to just like become adopted by one of these people and go home with them. And I want to live the rest of the night in their life. I don't want them to change a thing about it. I'll just give me the couch and like, I'll eat what you eat. Just double your order or double whatever you're making. I want to watch what you watch on TV. I just want to like listen to what you listen to. I'm so curious about people's lives that I would just love to go to that mall, get myself a churro, hang out in front of the Nike like outlet place and just, just find someone who'd be like, yeah, just come. I was just going to go home and like make dinner and watch a movie. Be like, just, I won't even say a word. Let me just, let me just hang, you know, and like see where the life takes them. Or they'll be like, I was just really going to go hang out in front of a CVS parking lot tonight and like hang out with some butt. I'd be like, great. Would love to be there. And I do find it a shame as I get older. And if there's anyone as old as I am now, I'm not r ridiculously old, but I'm becoming less and less young all the time. Um, do you ever feel like, you have to give up a little bit in this lifetime of the everythingness that like you're not going to be able to live in New York your whole life. You're not going to be able to live in Boston your whole life. You're not going to be able to like have a girlfriend who likes to go to the movies by the outlet mall and you're not going to be able, you're, you're just only going to be able to live your life. Do you know what I mean? Like there's certain things you're like, I can like it, but I can't have it. I do carry heavy load. That's, that's sort of. I don't know if it's my cross to bear or if it's my talent, but, um, you know, I'm not going to be able to, I can't do all that. You'll go off to get it next lifetime. If I want to, you know, live in a, a brownstone in New York city and have, you know, have a life in a, in an office building. Uh, Cause I like, I like all of it. All of it has this like smell and feel and, and you have to pick the one you're going with. And the one you're going with usually doesn't feel as exciting as the six or seven you'd like to combine together to make what you would consider the life you want. And you just have to be like, this is the lane. This is the lane. And you have to say to yourself, like, well, get them next lifetime if you want to, you know, live the life of a surgeon or live the, you know, you just got to, you know what I'm saying? But that sounds mundane compared to your life. Not true. And I understand why you would think that. The things that I do are exciting, but the life that I live is still populated by just me, a house, a job, and you pick the zone that you're in. And some people don't even get to pick the zone. So I'm very lucky that way. But I'm sort of done being like looking up at a Chipotle menu of life. And that that's a little sad this year, I feel like. You can't be like, Ben, I didn't expect you to get this, okay? Ben, we'll, 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 we'll get to, we'll, we'll get to crazy stories in a minute of, um, you know, uh, how many close, how many close calls you had last week or um, brushes with death or something like that. We'll get there in a minute, but it's interesting to have to go. Yeah. Not everything on the menu is available anymore. Last video game I played. What was it? Um, I just played like Donkey Kong tropical freeze on the plane today for a minute. Listen to Bill Evans and play Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze. <laughs> oh, man. Anyway, but that's life. You pick your... You get put in your zone and you go, this is the zone I'm going to run. You know what I'm saying. That's f Yes, Steffi, too many interests for one life. And my interests are not just professional. My interests are like vibe-based. I have dreams this big, but super specific that when I don't get to them, I'm like, oh man, I really wish I could get to that part. 
You know what I'll never do in my life? You know what I'll never do in my life? I'll never have a girlfriend where we have a little small apartment that we just closed on and it's Christmas time and she's a nurse and she lives in scrubs and um, we bought a little dumb tree and we eat Chinese food on a floor and it's our little life in our first walk up and the dog, our little new puppy is peeing on the hardwood floor and there's this grimy little Christmas tree and we're listening to an Ella Fitzgerald song and we're kissing over some Chinese food and we're saying, well, this might be a tiny little dingy life, but it's our tiny little dingy life. No, it's not there for me. Why not? Because I'm not, I'm not going to have, I'm not going to have the walk up with the crazy neighbor and the little Christmas tree, but I know it's a thing. I just have to realize I can't have it. Here's how I make this make sense. Ready? Here's how I keep 7,500 people watching. Uh, only w one week ago did I realize that 50% of all my online purchases, I don't purchase because I want them in my life. I purchase them because I like what they are. And if you think about that, those are two very different things. I have, for the last 15 years, been rewarding the manufacturer for making an item that looks good by going click. I'm gonna, why not just like it? Why not just go, yeah, I like it. That's really nice, but not have to have it. So I stopped buying things. For example, I saw a, a tie-dye Def Leppard t-shirt. Now that's just cool. And it's an original, like, tie-dye Def Leppard t-shirt. Now that's cool. I had it in the cart, and I went, now wait a minute. Do you want to wear it when you get it? And I was like, I don't really know. And I went, well, ask yourself. And I went, I probably won't wear it. And then I said, well, why do you want to buy it? And the answer was, because I think it looks really good. And then to me, I said, well, then just like it. Just like it. You can do that. You're allowed to just like it. Yeah, forever filling up my cart and bailing. You know, you're allowed to do that in an online store a lot more than you're allowed to do it in a real store. Imagine if you shopped on in a real store like you do in an online store. I'm going to put six of these in there, and if I don't like it, I'll just leave. <laughs> and then every once in a while, someone comes up and goes, is this your cart? And you go, no. Oh, I'm sorry, are you still shopping with us? And you would go, mm -hmm. and then you would just walk out of the store. That's what the online version would be. That's the real life version of online shopping. Just fill a cart full of stuff. You would also be like, um, yeah, so I can get this both in large and extra large, and the one that doesn't fit, I'm just going to bring it back. You know what I'm saying? Anyway. Anyway. I want what you're having. I'm not having anything. I had, a, I had a hamburger. Road food. You want what I'm having? Get yourself a, a hamburger, and then you can talk just like me, apparently. You see it all the time in Walmart, people just ditching carts? Yeah. Yeah, I've been, I've been buying things because I, I like them, not because I want them. Just, you should be able to just, you know, it was bad for business, but there should just be a little like underneath and go like, poof like that thing man and then leave but you know what like is for me Pfft. terms and agreements Pfft. here's like i really like this Pfft. add to cart yeah a nice layout Pfft. overnight shipping so that i can get it and it's my problem when i open it up ben not everything has to cater to your particular needs at any given time it's a friday night there's a reason that 7,600 people are listening to me babble and they're not leaving because they have nowhere to go. Some of them are fully clothed and believe there's still hope for them. And there's not. They think they're watching me before they go out. And they're not going out. There is no going out tonight for us. Do you see what I'm saying? This is all there is. We are all we've got. 
We're a bunch of people sitting around in a room trying to make plans. There are no plans. The pregame is the game, people. And Ben, if you can't understand that, well then, that's all over when you ride up on Troy's bucket. Because down here, this is our time down here. It's our time down here. That's lies. I'm going to Pinkberry in my new car. You have a newer car. And you could write, you have a newer watch. I know. Um, I miss the old job. <laughs> in fact, Ben, I'm being more old John tonight than I've been in a very long time. In a very long time. Who is out there? Hey, what's up with the diamond? And I've done it as a joke. What's up with the diamond next to your name in a profile? It's the idea that you will fool somebody for 0.2 seconds. The time in between noticing a shiny blue thing, looking up and realizing it's not a check. Is this the... Is this, the, is this the small window of time in which you seek redemption? The, 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 the interim between, that looks like a check, and going, oh, it's just a diamond. This is where, this is where you get to live. This is where, for that one moment, you get to shine. That, my friend, is, is no place to set, to set up a, a camp. It's not enough room, but small gains. I guess. Okay, let's see who else wanted to talk. I was thinking about a New York Post headline article, like a headline name, Paperless Post. But like Post Malone would have to declare bankruptcy for them to make paperless Post a headline. But then I wondered, does the New York Post have a list of cool headlines that they just hope someday to back into? Never had any interest in liking you when I was younger, but then I heard no such thing. Been liking you. Thank you. Thank you very much. You know, I've learned through the years to decode and interpret, maybe it's a better word, people's ripping you before they give you a compliment. Like, it's never a fan of yours. It's like, well, hold on a minute. That's not nice. And they say, but that last song, that's a great song. Their idea is that never was a fan of yours is about to get completely crowded out by I Love Your Song. But that's not always the case. Sometimes I go, well, thank you, but I'm going to walk away believing that you are never were a fan of mine, and I'm going to wonder all day why you weren't. They'll say things like, "My, will you sign something for me? You're not my cup of tea, but my wife loves you. Fine. Fine. And most recently, people say, I'm not a fan of your solo stuff, but you're killing it with the dead and company. And then I go, oh, okay, well, I... This celeb version of, of nagging, right? I go, but, well, you know that I'll be doing more of that. So, uh, it's really like someone saying, I ha we're at summer camp, I have a boyfriend, but I, I, wanna, I wanna make out with you, but I don't wanna go out with you at all. That's really what it is. I wanna make out with you, but I have a boyfriend, he's in Spain. And he's coming back at the end of the summer. So, don't get used to this. Not a fan of your music, but you're killing it with Dead Company. I'm actually okay with that. I have to write, like, my ninth album. Do you think I'm a fan of my music? You know how many things I go, did it, said it, someone else is doing it better? That's one thing. Well, there's the dreaded go to sleep. That's one thing that people don't understand. It's like, there are people doing it better than me now. Like, how am I supposed to go write some of these songs? I'm like... Number one, I did it once before. If I was going to go try and do it again, someone's currently doing it better. So then I got to go back, although I like it, and here's why. Because then I get to go back into the laboratory 
and it takes longer because I have to sort of break everything down and start from scratch. But like what I'm doing in the studio now, nobody's doing it. It's just going to take longer to put it out because it's a lot of guess and check. But I'm I'm out to just completely destroy all over again. But to do that, I've got to try brand new things. Like the you I miss does not exist. No, there are people doing it better. Um, but I know what you're saying. And you know what I'm saying. I get it. New Light was super cool. You're super cool. Don't worry. I don't, I don't worry. But with a name like Natty Ice, you're already putting me at ease, man. You are one literally chill bro. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Oh, yeah, no. My, my hair twirling game is... Oh, man, that's good. All right. Listen, my mom needs to use the phone. <laughs> so I have to go. My mom needs to use the phone. She's picked up the line like four times. At first she said, well, at first she dialed and I started screaming over the touch tone, mom, mom. And then she waited thinking the call was about to go through. And she said, hello. And I said, I'm on the phone. And she said, oh. Then she hung up Then we started talking some more and she picked it up again and she said, well, I need to use it. And I said, okay, give me five minutes. And she said, five minutes. And I said, okay. And now she's just picking up the phone and hanging it up again. Yeah, I know, Jeremy, no one gets the reference. But damn it, my friends do. You guys never had that. You guys never had call and let it ring once and hang up and then I'll know it's you and like the original pager was call let it ring once and it, stop it with the go to bed that's very condescending it's very personal when someone decides to go to bed it's not time to go to bed go to bed if you tell someone to go to bed you are you are infant inf, infantilizing them infantilizing them you are infantilizing them when you say go to bed I do not like it I know what you mean but telling someone to go to bed is like taking everything from someone's past. It's basic. Thank you, bro. Bible. I would expect nothing less. It is telling someone you've never grown up since you were six years old. You are still six years old. The life you think you have had since you were six is nothing. You're still six. And I'm telling you to go to bed. What you think is the world was just a blip. It's chin drip. What you think the world is. What up complex complex. We need to talk. I have complex, we need to talk complex. Because I thought about unfollowing and I can't unfollow because I like you too much. But I thought about unfollowing. And I think if someone tells you that they thought about unfollowing and they didn't, it means what they're saying is honest and from the heart. First of all, by the way, I know you didn't come on here to get ripped apart, so I'm not going to do it. I won't do it. I, I, you probably know. It's just c c complex. C the accent's a little thick. The accent's a little thick. You know what I'm saying? If you could mm, just whew, take your jacket off. Hang. Just, whew, you know? Mm, mm. Those who follow complex also follow the photos the complex posts minutes later. This creates a uniquely challenging situation whereby I'm seeing too much of the same thing. That's a lot. If Drake goes out, God bless him for going out. He wears a new jacket. Drake puts that up. People are following Drake. They're going to see the jacket. And he's doing, and it's great. Boom. Vote one for that photo. There we go. And then Complex will see it. And then Complex will go, oh, look, there's a photo of Drake. Our, our viewers would like to see that, except your viewers are already seeing that. So then that's that second picture of Drake, jacket. Mm. What's happening now is that you're creating a very incorrect, a very irrational, subconscious feeling that Drake's doing that too much. But he's not doing that too much. I'm seeing it too much. And then sometimes you'll just show a picture of somebody on a beach and you'll be like, hey you. And I'll think to myself, 
Now, I don't know who that person is, and I'm almost sure that I have no reason to know who that person is. But you'll put that person up there as if I don't know who they are, as if I've been living under a rock. And I'll be looking and I'll go, and then, then you have me doing forensic study on their body. Well, maybe I can identify them through dental records or tattoos. And I start going, how do I not know who this person is? Because Complex is really making this seem easy. But it's not easy because I don't know who that person is. So you just have a person on a beach, big boobs, crazy tattoo. And I go, am I supposed to know who that is? And then I have to go searching through the comments to see if anybody will use that person's name so that I can be like, of course, that's who it is. But then when I look at it long enough, I go, I don't know who that person is. And based on how much complex I look at, it's not my fault. And that's all I had to say right now about complex because the rest of it's really cool. The rest of it's really cool. Complex make porn. That is such a Russian bot, if I've ever seen one. All right. No, that is a real story I experienced. It happens all the time. Right, we're missing out no matter what we're doing. If you're not, if you're not one of those people who buys like a Call of Duty game and has a thousand experience points by noon the day it comes out, <laughs> You have to be 11 years old to do that. You have to be 11 years old to the day that a, that a Call of Duty game comes out. Just be slaying people with the golden sniper rifle with an experience level of a 6,002. And uh, anyway, anyway. This was fun and we're going so long and I can't believe that people have not dropped off yet. I think this speaks to the wonder of a Friday night. All right. Well, thank you. I feel like the chillest dude. This has been a lot of fun. Also, oh, who hurt me? Uh, stay tuned. Got another record coming. No, I don't do that. I don't do that. No one's hurt me anymore. By the way, like, uh, everything I'm saying is, like, cogent and coherent and kind, it's just loving, good-humored. I see no problem with me. Got to be honest with you. I see no problem. I did. Then I licked it. And now I'm cool. No, right. Oh, missed it. You ever miss your fist? Have a lovely weekend. Um, if you're coming to lock in, it's going to be great. You're going to be like, I can't believe that's the guy who was just goofing off for two straight hours last night. Uh, but this is what road life is. They do this to us. You know what that is? Stucco. You know what I am? Stuckier. Stucco, stuckier. Lucky, love. Have a wonderful night. John Mayer, CBS News, Nicaragua.